break time. I'm Leo Laporte, Sal Sagoyan is back, Apple Script Product Manager from Apple Computer. And as always, he's got some Automator fun to show us. Oh, certainly. But you know, I'd like to start, everybody's been asking me to get like a picture of you. So can I use my cell phone to get a picture? Uh, yeah, Please. sure. Okay. okay. So I'm going to just like point this right here. And oh, that's a great shot. I like that one. And I just took that. We'll autograph that later. All right. Yeah, and I'm going to store that. And you know what? I'm actually going to send this to that's my cool. automatic blog. You have an automatic blog? I have an automatic blog. And mm. you know what? I can show your viewers how to do the same thing I'm themselves. I'm guessing it's written in Automator would be my guess. I'm guessing <laughs> you're probably correct. Of course. <laughs> so, he, so you're mailing this to a special address. Uh, yes. I'm, your Mac probably, right? Uh, that's correct. I'm going to send it to uh, the Mac that I'm running at the office. Okay. And I uh, might be able to intercept it here, but we're going to try it like this and go send. And while that's doing it, we'll talk about it. All right. Okay. Out goes the uh, mail. Now, what did you do at uh, the office to make this all work? Uh, I actually, I just used the basic tools that come with the operating system. Okay. And I use iWeb for my Life 06. All right. And I've managed to create an automatic cell phone block. <laughs> and for the viewers that want to follow along, if you go to automator.us and uh, click the examples tab, you'll see over here there's an action collection for iWeb. And you can download the iWeb action pack that I have there. And there's also the cell phone image blogger and the auto publish oh, iWeb app. So you apps. can just download this. And yeah, then... and you can use this yourself. Do you spend your entire day thinking up stuff like this and, and, and implementing it? I get paid to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that must be really fun. Is it it, is what is your special. target? Like one a day, uh, one a week? It's just kind of a creative flow thing. You know, you wake up with an idea and oh, you start. Neat. My wife says that I can write code in my sleep. That's neat. And I've often woken up in the morning and just done some crazy is, is things. Is that how you got started uh, doing this before you worked for Apple? Was, was I uh, used to uh, work at a uh, service bureau in Charlottesville, Virginia, yeah. and uh, we handled any kind of print publication that came through the door. And, you know, if you're doing 1,000 print jobs a day, you're looking for ways to automate. automate. And I saw Apple Script and, you know, that was it. I realized that I could do this myself instead of relying upon third parties to right. make tools for I me. I think a lot of people don't know that uh, the, the, pretty much the entire pre-press world is run oh, on yeah. AppleScript. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it, it's it, some of the biggest companies in the world, oh, yeah. all their workflow is through AppleScript. Totally. Yeah. It's the hidden technology. Yeah, it's the money technology. <laughs> it makes you money, money, money. <laughs> and don't tell the competitors how you did it. That's right. So let's take a look at the, uh, how you can create yourself uh, an automated phone block. Okay. So I've opened up iWeb, I have a blog uh, page created here, and I'm ready to add some entries to it. And to do that, what I'm going to use is use the mail application on Mac OS X, and I'm going to create a mail rule that when it sees email coming in from a certain person or a certain group of people, will grab the photos from that email and add them to my blog. So in this case, it'll see the cell phone email address, yeah. filter it and say, oh, that goes to the blog. That's correct. So I'm just going to select this application here on the desktop that I downloaded from automator.us, okay. set up phone image blog. This is probably an Apple script. A little it's AppleScript. a Apple script too it's amazing. as well. It's amazing. And it says we'll install a new mail rule that scans messages from specified cell phone account and adds the image attachments to an iWeb blog. And I just click OK. And then it asks for the phone number of the uh, that's your email That's, address from your phone. That from okay. your phone. And so it's now filter on that. it's just created in mail. If we go to... You mean it actually conference. wrote a rule? Yes. Oh, that's so slick. It does it all for you right here. So if the, if the uh, message comes in from this, uh, run a certain script that it's installed into the operating system. Now that, now. by the way, is some of the most powerful stuff that Apple has done is things like allowing a mail filter rule to run an Apple script. It means you can do anything. Yeah. Because you've got now well, any program I can write I can run. And it oh, doesn't totally. have to just be an Apple script. It could be in Shell, it could be Perl, it could be Python, it That's could be right. anything. That's right. It's very powerful. It's all built on with Xcode, which is the tools used to control the operating right. system. And any framework or language supported by the operating system it's you can really use remarkable. when you create these actions. Right. So here's the message as it came in. If That's I, the picture you just took? No, let's see. Did the one just come in? I don't see, think it's coming in. It hasn't come in yet. It takes a little yeah, while. Yeah. So we'll just use this, this is, one This here is an older one. All right. And just go apply rules and instantly Whoa. it adds it to the blog, takes the <laughs> message that you Whoa. typed in with your thumb and adds it into the blog. Now, uh, iWeb currently doesn't have an automated 
publish, publish, publish system, but you can run the other a Apple script that we've provided called oh, that's nice. Auto Publish iWeb. And what it will do is every 15 minutes, it will automatically publish oh, this to the website. Very handy. I used to use a, a, a blogging tool called Blossom, and that was <laughs> what was neat about Blossom was it would automatically publish. You would just as you were, you know, you would create your website on your hard drive and it would automatically, periodically publish yes. it. Yes. And that's what this will do. Yes. So you don't even have to worry, you just work on no. iWeb and it'll just update yep. it. That's All you great. have to do is walk around with your cell phone and <laughs> take, <just> pictures. <laughs> take pictures and your website is, is updated automatically for you. It does take two little tools, but yep. you can download those from automator.us. That's yep. a great site if you're an Automator user to find out all sorts of cool stuff, including a tutorial on this particular Yes, technique. indeed. Sal Segoyan, Thank you're you, the best. We'll see you later on another Mac Break. Download one today.